So what are the best headphones for the everyday millennial? AirPods or the Powerbeats 3? In this video, I do a head-to-head -head comparison of the Apple AirPods and the Powerbeats 3 to tell you which one is the best for you. So let's go ahead and get to it. What's up everybody, it's your boy, The Millennial Health Coach, where I help you conquer your mind, master your health, and grow to achieve your highest potential. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. So the topic of the day is which headphones should you buy? The Apple AirPods or the Powerbeats 3? It's funny because I've had both and there's, there's a reason why this is in a box and these are hair. Because there's actually like nothing in here. The reason being is I actually lost my AirPods in the Uber, unfortunately, I lost my AirPods. So I knew I needed to replace them and I was like, well, should I get the AirPods again or should I get Beats? And I actually ended up getting the Beats. And I wanna go ahead and give you the pros and cons of both before I tell you why I got the Beats. First, starting off with the AirPods, I actually love these headphones. They were like awesome, they're super small, they're cordless, which is great. Like honestly, you didn't feel like anything once you put them into your ears. And then two, the case, this guy, was amazing. It charged it so the, I believe the battery themselves maybe have about two, two or three hours in them. But you put them in the case and they charge and the case itself holds around 24 hours worth of charge. And man, that is awesome. There'll be a couple times my AirPods are getting low, I plop them in the case, they charge, boom, 100% ready to go. So it was actually really, really cool. Super small case, super portable, but there are some cons to the AirPods. And honestly, one of the biggest things for me was the sound quality. So like when I work out, you know, I work out in a gym where there's a lot of like weightlifters, people banging like barbells, dumbbells, everything like that. People yelling like, let's go, let's go. And when I wear this, like I have to put the music super, super high. Um, in order to hear it. That's not super healthy for my ears, but it was something I definitely noticed for sure. And the second thing I'd have to say is that even though they stayed in my ear pretty well, I always had a fear, like if I'm like taking off like a, a shirt or I'm like moving something that I would drop them. And me being in New York, there's a lot of vents. So I'm nervous that somebody's gonna bump into me and that it would fall. And once one's gone, that's it. There, there's no going back. Those are the pros and cons for the AirPods. Now for the Beats, these guys. So what I love about the beats is one, the sound quality is amazing. The bass is bumping. I listen to a lot of rap, hip hop music, you know, workout DMX type stuff. And I need like a, what, what, yeah, what? That's what I need. I need like this hyped up music that's like good bass, good sound where I can hear it. And this plays a lot of really good music. And on top of that, the sound quality is awesome when it comes to just normal things. I can't hear anybody. This thing like, the noise canceling on this is, is pretty good. The second thing I love about these things is that they look super dope. Like you got LeBron wearing them, you got James Harden with the black and gold. Like, you know, it makes me feel like an athlete when I'm in the gym. Even when I'm like filming videos, it just feels awesome to have these headphones. You know, the design's cool and the sound is amazing. Now there are cons, and now I'm hanging this around my neck. What I don't really like about it, there's a case. This case is, one, it's kind of weird looking. It has like this and it's like just awkward, it's squishy. You put the, it's hard to put the headphones in there. Like, it's just not the best case to have and you can't charge it in this case either, which is what's something I really liked about the AirPods. And two, there's still wires, you know? I know a lot of people are starting to get away from it because it's like, it still can get caught on things. It could still peel off. And then three, and this is something I'll have to admit, man, like to be honest, like I broke in my first pair when I had the Powerbeats 2. They're not the most Durable. I think I had the Power Beats for maybe a year and a half, and I guess that's a pretty long time. But from what I know about Power Beats 3 is that they get broken pretty easily. Now, my brother, he's broken to himself. That was his fault. That was, that was your fault, not Jay, if you're watching this. So, why did I end up getting the Power Beats 3 instead of the AirPods again? So, honestly, just the Power Beats from like a working out perspective, I just love the music quality and like the noise canceling. I live in New York City, so you know, the taxis are loud, there's honking, there's ambulances all the time, and just the AirPods when I was walking, there would be a couple times where I'm listening to a podcast where I walk to work and I would just have to pause my phone because I couldn't hear it and I would have to rewind. With these, literally on average 90% of the time, at like even a medium level, I could still hear what I was listening to. That was like the main reason. The second main reason was because this was on sale, it was like $130 compared to like $170. So I went ahead and got these guys again. So that's why I'm rocking the Power Beats 3 from now on. If they come out with a better sound quality, 
you know, AirPods, I'll go ahead and consider them. So who are the AirPods for? If you are a person who is active, like you still like going to the gym, but it does, it's not like you're, you're not a hardcore like weightlifter, crossfitter or anything like that. I would say go ahead and get these. These are awesome, especially if you're just, you know, a lightly active person, like you like to jog and run a few, few days out of the week. You want to make sure that you're using this kind of like as a casual use. I would get the AirPods. Super useful. Love the charging aspect of it. If you're a hardcore fitness person, I would say stick to these guys just because they have an amazing sound. And yeah, that's really it. I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and like this video. And I want to know below too, are you team AirPods or team Powerbeats? Let me know in the comment box below and I'll catch y'all in the next video. You already know, embrace the hype. Hold on one second. Did you check out this video? How about this video? And I already know if you haven't already, you need to make sure you subscribe. All right? I'll catch y'all next time. See you later.